Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to delete an effect from your effects library in DaVinci Resolve. I think I've touched on this on some other videos, uh, but I believe that it uh, deserves its own standalone video, especially if people are searching for it. So here it is. You don't know this, but I just finished up recording a video uh, for my new uh, social pop-up promo that uses uh, custom logos. But let's say for whatever reason, this SSC custom promo, you wanna get rid of that. If you right-click, the only options you have are add to favorites, you don't want that. But what you need to do is hop over to the Fusion page. You don't need to be specifically working on anything because all you really need is access to the effects library in the fusion page because that gives you some more options so i have effects open up here i'm gonna open up this template and then add it and then we have our different categories effects generators titles transitions this effect we are trying to delete is stored in the effects folder so i'm going to select that and then come to these three dots here and go to show folder. That will open up this folder here where uh, any effects that are stored as dot uh, setting files are loaded. But you see, we do not have the preset we are looking for. And that's because this preset was loaded in with a DRFX file. And all you need to do to access that is come back one to edit and then back two to templates. And now you have all these DRFX files. Anytime you load a DRFX file, it will copy it to this location. And if I come down here, you will see SSC custom promo DRFX. All you need to do is just delete that and you're good to go. If I come back to Resolve, head back to the edit page, this will likely need a restart on Resolve. So if I quit Resolve and load back up, I've loaded back into Resolve and you can see even this uh, effect uh, is giving us a little error because if we go to effects, check out Strong Supply Company, that effect is no longer on our system. If I wanted to get this effect back, I would have to locate the original DRFX file, uh, which is probably still somewhere on my computer if I downloaded it. Double click to install and I'd be back up and running. And that's how to delete any effect. If you created it yourself or got that raw dot setting file, it will be in that first folder. Uh, and if you download it as a DRFX file, you just have to uh, hop back a little bit in the folder structure, find the original DRFX and you can delete it. Side note, if you are updating DRFX, they update pretty well. If you have a new version of a DRFX that is named uh, exactly the same as your previous version, if you double click on that, it will give you the option to overwrite that DRFX file. And that will effectively just update it for you. You won't need to worry about anything. You won't have duplicate effects. It'll be great. But that's all for this video. Uh, quick hint, especially if you are uh, messing with lots of different prototypes or effects, or if you are grabbing lots of effects from uh, lots of different uh, creators or services, uh, this could be pretty useful to keep your effects library clean. As always, I'm always working up stuff here. So if you're interested in that, absolutely click around my channel. You might find something you like. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.